Refueling the reactor is the main objective of the outage. In the reactor core, small uranium dioxide pellets are arranged in 12-foot-long tubes called fuel rods. 204 of these rods are bundled together into what is called a fuel assembly. At Indian Point 2, 193 fuel assemblies make up the reactor core, where the fission process takes place and where the heat is generated to produce steam in the steam generators. During refueling outage 2 Romeo 23, 88 of these 193 fuel assemblies are being replaced with new ones at the cost of approximately $1 million each. This new core will allow Indian Point 2 to operate for the length of its final two-year cycle. Three more. Initially, all 193 fuel assemblies are offloaded from the reactor core by a movable platform called the manipulator crane. Each fuel assembly is transferred to the spent fuel pool in the fuel storage building via an underwater transfer system. Following inspections of the fuel and of the reactor vessel by underwater robotic equipment, core reload can begin. Here, refueling technicians from Entergy and Westinghouse are completing the core reload by receiving the fuel assemblies back from the fuel storage building and then placing them into the reactor using the manipulator crane. Here, the last fuel assembly, 2 Delta 38, is being removed from the transfer system and raised into the manipulator crane mast. At 2104 hours on April 8th, fuel assembly 2 Delta 38 was unlatched in core location Charlie 07, thus completing the final core reload at Indian Point 2.